I'm Sam Fortunis and on this episode of Stand Up With Sam, I'm going to be talking to you about running. Whether you're a local and live here in Franklin County or you're on vacation, running is a great activity to do around here. We've got a couple great places that you can run and support a healthy lifestyle. I'm going to be going over a couple of main components with you, specifically shoe type, technique, as well as the surfaces that you can run on around here. So the shoes that I like to wear are called trail running shoes. They're essentially a regular tennis shoe, but they're a little bit lightweight and they have grip on the bottom. That's great for running on the dirt roads, paths, or the beach. A lot of people are going to like a running shoe, which is going to have a lot of support. It's also going to be lightweight. That's really important. It's not going to have any grip on the bottom. And that's good for running on asphalt if you're running on the sidewalk or the road. If you like to run on the track, you might want to pick up a track shoe and they're super lightweight. They have the spikes down here to grip the rubber track. The newest trend is barefoot running. So if you want a shoe that's uh, going to be barely there, just offers a little bit of protection, very little support, you might want to pick up a barefoot running shoe. A Vibram, sometimes they have the little toes. It's just a new popular thing. So let's get on to running. If you're worried about your knees, trail running might be best for you because it offers a soft ground surface. I like trail running because it's not going to be too harsh, but it offers me a good resistance as well. So here on St. George Island, we do have a lot of dirt roads. I like to run on those. In Franklin County, we also have trails such as in the Tate's Hill Forest. Um, you may be able to find some dirt roads in your neighborhood. When you decide to get out there and go on a run, it's really important that you do have good technique. When you run, the surface of your foot hitting the ground, you want to do a mid-foot strike, so from the middle of your foot and roll to the ball. A lot of people get into it and they start jamming, they start banging their knees, um, grinding into the ground, or they run on their toes. Running on your toes is going to cause shin splints, running on your heels is going to hurt your knees. So when you do it, have a nice smooth mid-foot strike. Arms need to be down, lower. You see a lot of people that like to run with their arms up here or they're doing all sorts of weird stuff. Um, always try to think, keep your arms down here. What I like to tell people when I'm training is that see where, your, see where your wrists are hitting. If your wrists are hitting your hips, they're good. And when we're running along, just think to yourself, where are my, where are my wrists hitting? Because if they're hitting up here, you know you're too high, too high. You want to have a nice open, so you can be able to breathe. Running's already strenuous, so keep all of this open. Practice your stroke, and let's get to running. Here we are, a nice sandy spot, like if you're on the beach. If you want to run on the beach, it's better if you shorten your stride. When you run in the sand, there's a lot more movement than on an asphalt or a dirt road, and that can really strain or pull your tendons and your ankles and legs and knees. So if you shorten your stride to little baby steps, almost like taking baby steps. It's going to be a lot better for your body. It can strengthen your muscles as well as your legs and feet. You want to make sure that you have a nice healthy um, stride when you're on the sand. That stride needs to be shorter so you don't pull anything. So here we are on Gory Drive. It's a nice cement road, but we, we need to remember that when running on cement that it's going to be the harshest on our body. So you definitely don't want to pound when you run. You also need to be careful for cars that may be coming through. So the rule is you need to run into oncoming traffic. And that's if you don't have a sidewalk or a bike trail to run on. Always be cautious, keep your ears open, listening for cars that may come by. It's really important to stretch before and after your run. So make sure you stretch those legs out, those arms, everything. That's gonna help you feel better before and after. As well as another tip in becoming less sore is going to be that drinking all the water. And after you run, drink a lot of water as well. It's going to help flush out that lactic acid. So today we've learned that you need a midsole strike to run smoothly. Keep your chest, shoulders open, arms down, hitting those hips if you need to. As well as the correct type of shoes that you need to wear. Have something with support. Make sure it's going to fit your surface, whether it be running on the beach, running on the paved roads or running on the dirt roads. So, it's never too late to get out that front door and get island fit.